Hey guys, so welcome to this video where I make some more jewelry. My sister's birthdays are just around the corner, and while normally Big Sis gets some pretty kick-ass birthday gifts, like tickets to see Aziz Ansari, and tickets to see Harry Potter and Symphony, this year is pretty different. And since one of them asked me to recreate the mosaic moon earrings for her, I decided to stick with some homemade jewelry for their presents this year. This was my first time crafting with cork. I boiled the cork for a few minutes as suggested by other crafters. And then I used a serrated knife to slice through them after they cooled off. I tried three different serrated knives and I found that this one worked the best. The original thought for these cork pieces was to keep them very natural looking because I like how they look. My other sister had mentioned doing a Gemini themed piece. I tried creating a really delicate looking uh, Gemini constellation, uh, but I didn't like how it looked. As you will notice through the rest of the video, the thought process for these pieces continually changes as I try to do different things. I used a very fine sandpaper to sand down the paint bumps I made. And then out of frustration, I spray painted those sides black. I used a pin to carefully poke holes towards the top of the pieces and then inserted some jump rings. So now that the pieces are black, um, I thought I would try to keep to the celestial theme, uh, you know, Gemini, space, constellation, moon earrings. So I busted out some potentially real moonstones that I had set aside uh, for a crafty project. I used a variety of snippers to free the gems from their brass chains. I did this very slowly and very carefully so as not to cut myself. I used watered down nail polish to create a sparkly and opalescent effect. I then glued on the moonstone pieces right in the middle and I surrounded them with additional glue and then some sparkly fabric paint. I started thinking that a mandala pattern would look really cool and I think that it would have if I had the right medium. The, the fabric paint that I tried here didn't work out. I didn't like how it looked. And I tried nail polish too, um, since that worked really well at first, but I didn't like how that was looking either. So I used nail polish remover to try to wipe off the nail polish. And I actually really liked the effect that it gave it. It made it a little more sparkly and it kind of left some impressions of the pattern I had tried. I decided not to try to add anything further on the front side. I thought that I was doing too much and I liked how it looked and so I decided to leave it alone and focused on the back. I painted a sun on the opposite side. As I mentioned before, I wanted the piece to look more natural so I stuck with that on the back side. Essentially, I made a reversible necklace. I then covered both sides uh, in Mod Podge. I chose hemp cord to hold the pendants and tied Grinner fishing knots on the clasp. There's a link in the description on how to tie this knot. And done.
Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you soon.